What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to fix your ripped seat on the Yamaha VMAX 600. I just, that's been from boot rubbing on it. I bought it with all these cuts in it or whatever. Okay, first you take your seat off, which you have to go underneath of it. To get, and do that bolt right there. It is a, what size is it? Uh, 13 millimeter. I'm just using a little 5 16th, can't really see that, 5 16th wrench, loosening it right off of there, works nice and good. So I got those front ones out, the seat looks up nice and easy, take the seat off here and show you how to do it. Okay, so I got my seat up, um, if I were you, if these were undone, I'd tighten them and staple it shut with the wood stapler or whatever. But, just take the tape and put it on there. Should I do it right now? Take your handy Yamaha key. Okay, now I'd just measure it up with it. Oh, it's sticking. I'd measure it with it and then slap it on there. And then I'd do not very many layers, one or two, if it really needs it. But make sure it doesn't look too bad. I mean, in all in all, you want it to be better. But if you can make it look all nicer, that'd be nice too. So I got my first piece on it. Actually, you can't really you can't really see a big color difference in there, but looks real nice. I'll actually give you a tutorial now because I just had to practice once by myself so I could show you how to do it. I got that second piece on there. It's looking nice, but I have this little bit. I don't really want this to branch off out here, so I because I'd have to probably get a new cover or a seat. So I think I'm gonna cut a little slice right here and strip it down. I'm gonna try to. So you throw your seat back on, and that's the finished product. I think it looks better than being ripped. From a far distance, you can't really notice. But anything's better than having to buy an entire new seat. Thanks again for watching, guys. And don't forget to go check out Benny's Power Sports for all your power sports needs. Thanks for watching.